Hi, Stephen Caleb from Brownells here with another edition of Smithbusters. And today the myth is, I have an AR-10 and I need some parts. What's the myth? Well, you very well may have an AR-10. You very well may not have an AR-10. Odds are you don't have an AR-10. Most people who think they have an AR-10 have a, something on the what's considered the AR-308 platform. So to kind of break it down, your AR-10 is going to be your Armalite specific. That's a brand specific. It's not you know, widespread like the AR-15, you know, there's multiple different brands of AR-15s, a ton of them actually. And uh, the AR-10 is not that. AR-10 refers specifically to the Armalite 308 pattern. Right, rifles. it's not a generic term. Right, so. What's the big deal? So the big deal is parts interchangeability. Um, chances are you have a something on the DPMS or the LR-308 yeah. platform, which is now yeah. kind of accepted through the industry as the AR-308 platform. So you have your AR-15 small, which is your small frame. Right. And your AR-308, which is your large frame. And some parts do interchange between your AR-10 and your AR-308s, but not all of them. And the ones that don't are really important parts that don't interchange. Such as? Such as your receivers. Right. The uh, upper receiver, where that mounts to the lower receiver, is very different. It has this straight back here versus the curved back on that one there. Yeah, this one's curved. So you can't put those together very easily. No, and you can't modify them to fit either. I know people have people tried. tried. <laughs> it never works out. Um, and another very big difference is going to be the threads on the upper receiver with a handguard mount. So AR-308 handguards don't fit the AR-10 and vice versa. Right, I know from personal experience they're close, they're but close. they don't go. Nope, they will not go. And you're, even if you do somehow modify it to fit your upper receiver height, isn't going to fit the rail height. Right, I've got a barrel and a, I've got a fore end and a receiver that do not match right now because I just made one work for the heck of it. Yep, so that's that's one thing you can't do. What about uh, the bolts? Can I just buy a bolt from an AR-308 and put it in my AR-10? You cannot. The head spaces are different. Okay. And barrels, uh, your barrel extensions are different, so they're not going to interchange as well. Pretty critical components. Very critical components. Then, you know, moving back from there, well, actually gas tubes, gas tubes are different. Oh. Different lengths, yep. Okay. And then moving on from there, your buffers are also going to be different. So right. in your carbine, you know, your AR-308 uses those short stubby buffers. Yeah. The uh, 308s and the, or the, um, the carbine buffers in the AR-10s use one that resembles a uh, standard AR-15 buffer. Okay. It's the same length. Okay. So that's two very different components as well. What about the internals, like the trigger and hammer and all that stuff? Fire, con fire control groups and some of the pins, um, things like the dust covers, uh -huh. those interchange. Okay. So you're good there. Okay. And other than that, uh, pistol grips? Uh, pistol grips are fine. Those are interchange. The extension tube is going to be the same, so you can use anybody's buttstock that's, that fits that particular tube? Yeah, tubes are good. Castle nuts, end plates, uh, muzzle devices. Those interchange as well. Okay. Uh, magazine compatibility? Magazine compatibility. So on the new AR-10s, yes. There are some older AR-10 patterns out there that use uh, like modified FAL magazines. Yeah, and, and that goes way back. They get a little bit tricky. Those do not interchange, but yeah. all of your current production AR-10 stuff will interchange with your AR-308 stuff. But they were doing the AR-10 a long time ago. Yep. Um, and they kind of went through some changes and iterations and mods that... Uh, well, you'd have to be almost a historian to know all of them. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that for sure. There's a lot of uh, a lot of history there. So, that's so what do you tell somebody when they've got an actual Armalite gun? So, if you have an actual Armalite gun um, and you're looking for you know Armalite parts, not just the aftermarket parts, contact Armalite. Yeah, they'll be able to take care of you. If you're looking for you know handguards and things like that, there are companies that make Armalite specific stuff. So you'll just need to make sure you're actually looking at AR-10 parts versus AR-308 right. parts or DPMS pattern parts. I think the bigger problem is we have people that buy parts that say AR-10 and they're AR-10 specific, but they put them on their AR-308. Yep, and you know, to be honest, there's also a lot of companies out there that advertise their 308 stuff yeah. as AR-10 parts. Yeah. And that's where a lot of the you know mainstream confusion is coming from. And um, I really don't know what to say about that other than, you know, that's that's one of the issues. Okay. So it's not really a myth, but it's really something we wanted to talk about and yeah. kind of hopefully get rid of some of the confusion. If you've had uh, experience with compatibility issues, building an AR-308 versus an AR-10, 
If you've had good times, bad times, whatever, let us know in the comments because not only for us, but I think other people would be very interested as well. So if yeah. you have some actual hands-on experience, please let us know in the comments. In the meantime, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time with another edition of Smith Busters.